First strike of the day, folks. I'm here at Gunnersville Dam. I have my wife with me. We're just out here just to see what we can catch. Let's see what we got right here. Oh my goodness. He ain't very big. Got that rod bowed up for a reason. It's a light action rod. I mean, real light action. And we're up here and we're fishing with a live crawfish, pretty little bass, and minnows. There's the first bass of the day. I have got a few small crawfish, barely had that fish hooked. And let's let him go. This is going to be sort of a multi-fishing type deal. We're just out here just enjoying the day because winter time there's not going to be many good days left i don't think it's fixing to get cold but let's let this fish go my wife's right over here i got her set up in a corner where they could be some crappie let's hope she catches her a crappie she's using live manners there she is and she's got boom dog with her and uh I'm going to adjust the float for a different depths and I'll do my best to see if she can catch her a crappie today. But let's see what we can catch right here at Gunnersville Dam from the bank. See that line peeling off, folks? Now, this is a little bitty crawfish, and I mean, it didn't take long. After about a minute after he hit the bottom, this fish was on it. Let's see how big he is. Golly. We'll see. They all feel big on tackle like this. This is a small bass. It's a large mouth though. Real small crawfish and I'll show you how I'm hooking them when they're real small like this. Pretty good little bass right there for the size of the crawfish. Let's get him in right here. There he is. Pretty nice bass. Caught him in a good tough place. I'm using a size six, believe it or not. No, that's a four. Eagle claw rotating hook on these small crawfish I do. Okay. And you don't never know, you can catch big bass on these little crawfish. I've caught them up to four and five pounds on them. And let me show you what size I'm using. Let's let that fish go. Let him go. Okay, the size I'm using is about like this. This is about, this crawfish is about two and a half inches long. He's real small. Now when they're, there, when they're this small, I'll take the hook and just barely right here in this area here just barely hook him like that and that's how i'm fishing no weight let's see if we can catch another one mm-hmm that fish is running with it hard i made a cast over towards the wall right there and I almost i was within about a foot from the wall is that crawfish was sinking, didn't even reach the bottom. Something grabbed him. Let's see what it was. I don't have no idea. Let's see if we can find the fish. There he is. We got him. Hey, this might be a pretty good little bass right here. Or something. He's fighting good, whatever he is. Yeah, I believe it's a bass. We're gonna have to follow this one down. He ain't that big. Look at him, he come to the bank. It's a large mouth. It's a good fish showing a little crawfish like that. God, he's fighting. Look at him down there. I mean, he's doing some fat. Mm. He's going 
going all the way up the bank. So I guess I need to focus my efforts against the wall. Because that didn't take long. Now that's a pretty fish right here. Let's take a look at him. He's already getting his winter markings. See the little black spots right there? Got a little black dot right here. Fat, healthy. Let's let him go. Let's watch him swim off in this clear water. There he goes. Tell you what, I'm gonna make me another. If you was me, would you make you another cast? Make a cast. About the same, about the same place. They may, may be our another fish over there. My goodness, you talking about peeling some lining out quick. This makes me think that it's a little bitty bass. But then again, you can't never tell. <clears throat> we'll see. He's still there. There he is. Mm. He ain't very big. Boy, he's fighting. Fighting like he's a big one little six pound test line limber rod here it's probably a spotted bass the way he's fighting no nope. well let's see what we got come here no it's a large mouth he's a fat little old devil too I knew he wasn't very big I'm not catching a begging yet but I'm trying but look how fat and girthy that fish is let's get her hook out okay we may change locations here in just a little bit and look search for a bigger fish but this is a lot of fun on this light tackle let's let him go right here go that's how effective live crawfish are these little bitty ones that i'm using you know it's uh i like i've said i've caught some 45 pound bass use them you can't never tell big bass hits little baits oftentimes but uh let's go check on mama sue down here get us a sandwich and then we'll just keep fishing right here i'm enjoying myself I know she is too. Let's see if she caught anything. Folks, this next clip gets pretty loud, so be sure to turn down your volume or take off your headphones if you think you need to. Okay, folks, we're here. We're late. Baby Lisa is my wife of 31 years. Now, are you catching anything? Baby stripes. Baby stripes. Well, that's not what I want. What? Well, just hang in there. Maybe they'll move in. Oh my goodness, what is that? They opened a floodgate. It's, if we don't get out here quick, we're gonna get flooded. No, I'm not. The way now I'm fishing this crawfish is um, this is probably about 12, 13 feet of water, or it averages it right there at that wall. So when I throw up against the wall, I'm letting this crawfish free fall down the wall. And I've had a couple of strikes uh, with the crawfish falling down, but once it gets to the bottom, okay, I'm constantly moving that crawfish. You can't just throw him out there or here on this spot you can't and let him just 
crawl around because if you do, you'll get hung because there's a lot of hangs out here, rocks and stuff like that. So I fish him like this by moving him. I think it's another one about the same size. Might be a little bigger. Been a lot of hot head shakes. He's fighting a little bit better than that other one did. That crawfish didn't even hit the bottom. That fish was suspended, no doubt. This is fighting a lot better. It must be always a spot. Pretty good spot, too. He is fighting and pretty in that clear water, and I got him hooked good, too. Got him hooked real good right there. Come here, spot. Now that's a pretty good fish right there. That's more like it. What we're wanting to catch, and these spotted bass in Gunnersville are pretty. Pretty fish. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little better, ain't we? Let's put him back. Watch him go home now. That's what I like about fishing. That is the sport of fishing. Let's rig up another one right here. Yep. Yep. There's another one. I'm in a pretty good hole right here. I'm just going to let him ease on off with it. He just had hit it. It's another spot, pretty good sized spot. You can't never tell fishing. But yeah, he's right there. There he is. light line a lot easier than you can heavy line that's pretty good fish pretty good fish just take my time ain't no big great big one but I mean it's a good one for the day pretty good one for the day he's spitting up shad No, it's a small mouth. Sure is. No wonder he's fighting. Small mouth. Pretty small mouth. Okay. Oh. Come on in here, small gal. There he is. Let's get him out here in the sun and we'll look at him. Now, is that not a beautiful small mouth? Beautiful fish. And we know that small mouth love crawfish. Got him hooked good, too. There he is. Old bronze back. That's a pretty fish. Let's let him go. Let him go. So we've caught small mouth, large mouth, and spots. All right here in the same place. Let's rig us another. All right, we got to fit. Yeah, you got to flip your bail. Okay, we got a fish swimming off with it right here. Let's see how big he is. 
That's a good one. Yep, this is a pretty good fish right here this evening. Oh, we He's doing some fighting, folks. His fish is a fighting. On six pound test line. It's a pretty good fish. Got under some rocks. There he come loose. We're going to bring him. Let's wear him out. You take your time. You're not in no hurry when you're fishing with light line. Ooh. Good large mouth. A lot of fun on white line. Okay. Let's get him in here. That's a good fish right there. He's real fat, healthy. There you go, Lisa. I hope you catch one before dark. We're going to release this fish. See how fat and girthy? Well, we're going to do our best to direct you to catch you one now. I want you to get you on video. Okay, folks, let's let him go. Let him swim back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go fishing when you can, but got it good.